I found this super cute peppermint swirl French tip. I will show you the picture in a bit, but I'm going to show you how I was able to do it. Super cute. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and put my base coat. I did one coat of white where I want the peppermint swirl to be, and I want it to be a French, but kind of like an off French, a little bit different. So once I do that, as always, you want to wipe off the gel when you're gonna do art, especially when you're doing lines because that inhibition layer is gonna make it kind of bleed out a little bit. So once I do this, let me see if I could do this with this camera right here. I kind of just wanna pick where my center is gonna be, kind of like around here. So I'm gonna start doing my first stripe with the red. Okay, so now I'm just going to go over everything I just did. Okay, so here we have it. I went ahead and did two coats of the red and the green. This is where you would put your top coat because I'm gonna show you how to put the little jemmies on there. Um, but I do overlay on my nails, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick little overlay. And if you have seen my overlay video, you know why I do overlay on top of the manicure instead of under. So once you have your top coat, or in my case, my overlay, you're going to wipe it off. You're going to give it a little buff. Wipe it off. Now, I'm going to use my gem adhesive, which I use Stick It. Boom, Stick It. Uh, from Ugly Duckling. Um, I do believe you need a license to purchase it. But I will be testing out some consumer accessible ones. So if you're subscribed, make sure you got your notifications on. So what I'm going to do here is I don't need that much since I'm just doing a little tiny kind of strip. I'm going to put a little bit right here in the middle and bring it up. just want to form it to the angle at which I did my little French design. And now with my Ugly Duckling product, I'm going to cover my little gold ball. And then the crystals, I'll just go all the way around so we get just kind of like a little lip of coverage around the stone. Now, before I apply the top coat to my entire nail, I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Um, it's a no wipe top coat. I like using the no wipe top coats when I'm doing this part of my gem application, sorry. Just because they tend to be a little bit thicker in consistency, but all I wanna do is I'm not coating. I'm just going over all the areas that I went with my Ugly Duckling Stick It. 
mostly because it doesn't it's not a no wipe stick it gel it um it's sticky and then when you wipe it down it is a little bit dull not too shiny so I'm just going to reapply this or apply this over the same area that I did all of my gem adhesive All right, so now my final step, the matte. You could do it shiny, but I totally love the effect of the matte peppermint. So I'm just going to push this up here. You want to do this part last because then you don't want to have any shiny stuff over the matte after you touch up the gems. And there we have it, a super cute peppermint swole French. How adorable, I am obsessed. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope I see lots of peppermint swirl out there for the holidays. As always, thank you guys again for tuning in. I will make sure to be getting some more of these really cute art tutorials out. And um, in the meantime, I need to finish my nails. So I will see you guys on the next one, bye.